We make God mad. I, I really believe that the pagans and the abortionists and the feminists and the gays and the lesbians, the ACLU, people for the American way, all of them, I point the thing in their face and say, you helped this happen. Now, two days after 9-11, Jerry Falwell was doing some heavy, heavy intellectual lifting, and he was saying that, uh, that surely some of the blame for this incident must fall on the ACLU. <laughs> and I wanted to call in and say that was out loud. Did you know that? <laughs> Jerry Falwell's God was standing by the elevator while we were talking about the party, so we had to invite him. And secretly, we were wishing that he wouldn't come because he's vengeful and jealous and he tends to smite people. Who is the moral majority? Well, um, this movement centers particularly around a uh, um, given range of uh, radio and television evangelists. We've had an interesting phenomena in the United States since the time of Harry Truman, uh, which has involved, uh, in particular, evangelist Billy Graham, uh, was a kind of an informal chaplain to Presidents uh, Eisenhower and Johnson and um, uh, then to Nixon. We could turn the world upside down and start a counter-revolution, a spiritual revolution with love instead of hate and prejudice, following the Christian flag until Christ is known around the world. And Mr. Graham has not been as much involved in politics since the Nixon affair. I think he recognizes now it is necessary for a religious functionary to distance himself somewhat from politics. I think one identifies this immediately with Jerry Falwell of um, um, Independent Baptist Minister in Lynchburg, Virginia. Some of you I know, some I do not, but uh, I'm honored to meet you today. I've been concerned that since World War II, along with our prosperity, uh, we have begun to forget what made us great. The wisest man who ever lived, Solomon, said, living by God's principles promotes a nation to greatness. What are some of the issues that, that this group chooses to support? Um, they're interested in issues uh, such as abortion, um, the Equal Rights Amendment they're opposing, um, questions like a strong America, the role of uh, homosexuals. God was angry with Adolf Hitler for the destruction of six million Jews. I think we have reached the point that God might be a little displeased with this country today that uh, is participating in biological holocaust. And uh, while we should love the homosexual, we should deal with homosexuality for what it is, and that's wrong. Just the other day, Mass yesterday, the Massachusetts court ruled that two lesbians can adopt a child. Now you've got to be a gross idiot. I don't know where you went to law school, Your Honor. The principle of God-centered education. God is dealing with America favorably, and that's what's right with America, because we have been, up to this hour, favorable towards and friendly towards the state of Israel. This group has now become, especially in the presidential campaign, uh, very active, uh, speaking out um, on issues in certain situations and by implications for particular candidates. So the press gets that correctly, I'll repeat it. I agree with Mr. Reagan that we are, in fact, uh, fighting for our life. And so Mr. Reagan's enemies are my enemies, and they're yours too. What's important to you in November? Biblical principles. Biblical principles. And don't you have three born-again Christians running? John Anderson, Jimmy Carter, and Ronald Reagan? I don't Reagan. know. I, I, if I looked at looking at the Democratic platform and the things that, that um, Jimmy Carter supports, I'm, I'm not sure that Jesus Christ, I'm, well, I know that Christ would not support that platform. As witnessed the full-page ads of the American Civil Liberties Union, I had it, if the moral majority has its way, you'd better start praying. I'm a Christian, a conservative, and a Republican in that order. Falwell Jr. was one of the first people to give an endorsement to now President Trump. God created us male and female in his image. He created us. We are the party that believes first and foremost in God. It was our belief in God 
and in Judeo-Christian values that inspired culture in the first place. In America, we don't worship government, we worship God.